guys, this is, oh my goodness, hey guys, this is me, Michaela, and that's it, <laughs> um, not centered, darn, <laughs> that gets on my nerves, um, but anyway, today's video is me definitely letting my life out to you, because I'm going to show you my most prized possessions, um, that I have gone throughout the years, or this year, which I haven't got any this year, it's basically from my childhood, and, um, these things are very, very cool, and very, very pure to my life, and if you can see already, that I'm not gonna show you, <laughs> but, um, but, um, these might be, like, going out to the people who I actually know, and, like, I'm letting like my, the things that you've given me or like you let me never mind just if you feel like I'm letting my soul out to you too much comment down below because I'm not sure but um I actually have uh, something that is top notch like the first place in art like something but I have something that looks like an Indian um <laughs> No, I'm looking way up there, but don't, know. it's not a person. Um, if it was, no. <laughs> no. No person is, like, my first possession. <laughs> Sorry! Except, um, my first possession, my top one prize possession that I wouldn't be at the stage where I am right now making a video is my tablet. So, give a round of applause for my tablet. Yippee! Um, but... Yes, um, I'm going to be showing you my prized possession, so let's get right into the video. So, this first prized possession is one that I have made in H.W. Longfellow School, which, if you, if you haven't known already, I think it's on Scott Street. I'm not sure, um, but it's past the freeway. <laughs> there we go. And uh, um, this, this thing has helped me throughout many things, so if I hold it, I always thought it was magical, because if I hold it, it's like my blessings come true or something. Or no, my dreams come true, and then all of a sudden, if I wish for something, it happens the next day. It's so weird. But, um, I can't wish for a thousand dollars because it wouldn't give me that. But, um, I always thought that the ocean was magical. So, it's this. It's actually something, it's a shell that I didn't find on the beach. It was, like, something that I found, like, buried, like, well, no. Oh, that's my other thing. But this thing, if you, let's get a close up. Uh, this thing, it had, oop, it's just like every ordinary shell. And if you look on the inside, like, um, if you look on the inside, like, it would show you, like, a whole bunch of things. Like, oil spilled on it. It was like the ocean, make this, like, tonic thing. But, like, this part is marker, and I never put it in water, which is so weird. And then all of a sudden, this happened the next day. Like, when I put it near the ocean, I just dipped it in water and then left it there for an hour. And then, like, it's, like, a little oily, which is so cool. But, yeah. I feel I felt like, well, I put it in some kind of, I thought there was something in the, like, the lake or something. Because... It's not normal or something, because what kind of lake would do that? It's so weird, but I have a feeling it was like some kind of dirt or rock or something that smudged all over it. Um, but I left it in the sand right by where the tide comes in, so I don't know what happened, but it's so cool. So let's get a close-up on that and I'll be quiet. <laughs> um, front, I did this myself with, um, it was like Sharpie or marker, it was a marker, and I put at this part is like stains because I'm pretty sure I spaghetti and then touched it when I wished for like pasta or something. Um, then this back to the inside where the oil spilled. Notifications! Leave me alone. What is it? Oh, it's just um, family feud. Okay, whatever. Like family feud? I don't even have an app for that. Oh wait, I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete you once I'm done with this video. Okay. So, 
that is figure number one, which has helped me through a lot of pain. Okay, this is the least amount of stress on it. Um, this one is very close and dear to my heart because something I noticed a few days ago, this is a picture, obviously, and it's my dad. But I look inside it and if you guys want to read that before I do, here you go. You can just pause it or something. But it's right here, always and forever, which I never looked inside this before. Like, I was like, what's that fold? Uh, I always thought it was just something to keep the picture up standing. But I looked inside and whoa. It says, um, I adore everything about you more than you'll ever know. My love for you is genuine. Genuine? I can't read. <laughs> my love for, for you will always grow. I love you with, with all my heart. You will bring me joy and gladness. You bring me sunshine. And uh, take all my sadness. I adore you. I adore. <laughs> it's so hard to read with the heart background. Um, I adore you. Uh, I adore your smile and I love your touch. And uh, I know that's the reason. I love you so much, always and forever. So, when I close up on this, it's just uh, it's reflecting. But that's me. And yes, I actually did wear dresses. Which is so weird, but I did wear dresses and I look totally different. It was, um, uh, I don't know what year this was. I'm not sure what year this was. Oh, but if you're looking at the black person, no, I'm not racist. Um, but if you're looking at the black person, that is my grandma's friend, which they are best friends. And in the middle is my dad, who looks totally different. And... I wear a dress and a bow on my head. I have changed. <laughs> Definitely. And then I have another one. Which show my picture right here. Um, uh, you? <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> and then, um, right here, that's a picture of me and Grandma and my dad. Grandma, she looks exactly the same. And my dad, different. Me, still wearing the dress. And a, and a white bow. I love those white bows. <sighs> and the last thing that is most... No, no, there's two more things. Never mind. I tried to make that look really cool. But anyway, girls don't hate me because the people, the girls who I go up, who go at high school, don't hate me. You know, I can, I'm going to give you a hint what it is and some girls know who, what it is. It's just beads, but, <laughs> okay, I'm going to put it at my side, and stand up, if I can get up, because <laughs> this floor is so comfy. I painted it myself, um, so, it's a stick, <laughs> but a very, really cool stick, and I have to tie you up. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, this is for my finger. <laughs> okay, so. If you can't get out my knee, hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. Close up on the top. This is a bunch of feathers that I'm guessing was put on the ground on the wrong side. Um, but yes, it, the top part is really cool. It's the handle. It's like it has a place for your thumb, which is so cool. And it's red and white. I went. I remember going over this like this part over and over again, trying to find the right like mixture. But I made it like a like a um. Spider-Man theme, and this part was really easy to do. It's not, it's not meant to be striped, but it's actually just white string that I painted over with blue. This, then this part is always just blue. The bottom checkerboard here it comes, because like I remembered, like just thinking of how I was gonna put this into layers. So I thought like the top part Indian because I am an Indian, and then like black because some people think my soul is black. I'll agree with that, um, but this one, like, the handlebars, it's just, like, like, that, the, like, uh, the little string part, like, it's, like, saying, uh, like, my life isn't perfect, and my life is a roller coaster because it goes round and round, um, but at the bottom, just word, because there's always a pattern in me, but you just have to find it, which no one has. <laughs> 
I don't think they have. If they have, tell me. Um, then there's one more thing that was really dear to my childhood. It's... What's your name? Ah, oh, come on! It's Valentine's Day thing. Someone sent me this on Valentine's. Although this was very young. I think it was for Christmas. Because who would like me when I was young? I mean, super sure, I had no acne on my face. I was super cute and super young. Don't judge me. Okay. But this is the full look of the teddy bear. I love this teddy bear. It has helped me since ever since I was five. And I just hugged it. And I felt like I was hugging my mom. Because, like, with my mom and dad gone, I mean, it's really hard to have someone who's dear and close to you who can actually understand what you're trying to say. And they can actually just appeal to that. They can actually relate to it so often, especially with my parents, because we have learned something from each of our parents or a relative. But um, for me, I've learned things from this teddy bear. I've learned self-control, everything that I should know. And I've already, I think I've already gone through puberty! Yay! But I'm just kidding. I don't know what puberty feels like. Um, or anything like that. And trust me, I don't want to go through it. Ever! But, at least I can just hug it and feel like I'm at home. Oh, it's Valentine's Day. <sighs> Sorry. It's so fluffy. It's like hugging my cat, Chrissy. Uh... But yes, I do have a dark side, but I do have a light side. And yes, I'm going to like pink. Don't worry. If my teddy bear likes pink, I like pink. <laughs> um, but don't judge me when I go to school saying, Oh, Michaela's the perky girl. <laughs> Trust me. Um, this teddy, if you have something really dear to your heart that you will let, never let anyone other touch it. I don't think I've ever touched this teddy bear in like, I don't know how long. Oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna tell you <laughs> but yeah it's really dear to my heart it feels like you're at home it feels like you're not alone in your life once you have something that you're really close to you can just hug it and feel like you were hugging someone that you really really loved and uh, I kind of don't have anyone in my life like that but um, at least I can have a wonderful life just sitting here teaching myself how to have a beautiful life and how to live it holy and righteousness so if you really that <coughs> squeaky watch my other video you'll see that <coughs> but yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and um if you like really like this video and you want me to show you and you got any more family related things or things that make me happy just comment down below and um, subscribe if you haven't already. Good and goodbye. Woo!